Hi everybody! So this is the kind of wind turbine that's dominated the wind industry, well, since the 80s really. Now before that, wind turbines were very little more than propellers that they'd robbed off aeroplanes, and they had two blades on them, and they were effective rather than efficient. And it was a Danish inventor, Heinrich Steisdahl, who had a look at this and came up with this three-bladed design. And this three-bladed design is more efficient and more stable, and so it's become the dominant design for wind turbines right up to the present day from about the 1980s, and it's called the Dutch concept. And of course we're always looking for improvements on things and where can we find those improvements from? One way is to look at what we've got and make it better and better and better. Another way is to look somewhere else to see if there's something doing something that might be interesting. And of course, we're in the autumn, and in the autumn, you're going to find a huge amount of these kind of things. This is called a Samara. A Samara is the group name for it, actually. This is from a sycamore tree. Uh, Samaras include things like sycamores, uh, ash, maple, honesty, hops, those kind of thing. And a Samara can either have its seed at the end or its seed in its centre. So seed in the centre is things like hops and honesty, and seed at the end are things like ash, maple and sycamore. So this Samara seed, of course, will do something extraordinarily interesting, and that is when you drop it, it will rotate. And of course that's made it the inspiration for single-bladed helicopters. A whole range of things are being inspired by this. And I was thinking, as we look at this, how frighteningly similar it is to the fin of a whale, so it must have hydrodynamic properties. But at least we'll be able to look at the wind, because the movement is relative. If I move this and the wind is still, or I move the wind and this is still, it's exactly the same thing in terms of the relative movement. So if we fit that to an axis and have wind blowing over it, we should be able to get that to turn, and of course that is the big question. There's something else really interesting to notice about it. Here is a wind turbine blade, and you'll notice it's actually more like a wing, a bird's wing. It's thicker down here and thinner up here, so it looks very similar to a thing like a gull's wing, perhaps. This one is actually the other way around. It's thicker here, actually it's thicker more in the middle, there, thinning out to the top, and then very thin there. So it looks like it's inverted, and of course that has got to be interesting. The first thing we need to do, clearly, is make a model of that. Now we could try and model it, but of course we've got a scanner. So what I'm going to do is scan that in. Once we've got that scanned in, of course, we can clean it up with a bit of editing software. And I'm using 3D Builder, not for any particular reason, it just came with the computer, and so why not? Once we've cleaned that up, then we can get that into Tinkercad, and in Tinkercad, I'm going to play around with it and put a little peg on the bottom so that we can stick it into something. And then, of course, we can print it off, and there it is. <laughs> and she looks remarkably like its original, so I'm quite pleased with how well that turned out. So this is our 3D printed sycamore seed, or Samara seed, and we can print three of these to put it in the same configuration as the um, Dutch concept. Why not? We want to have a bit of a comparison. So we need three of these and a nose cone. So there's our three blades and our nose cone that they fit in there. Of course, I'm going to put this on um, Thingiverse so anybody who wants it can help themselves and feel free. Now, there's a huge discussion about which way around these go. Do they go that way? Do they go that way? Actually, it doesn't matter. If they go that way, they'll turn clockwise. If you go that way, they'll turn anti-clockwise, which I think is hilarious. And there are my three Samara sycamore seeds glued into the hub and I've added a piece of 8mm steel bar. It's 200mm long because I've also created this handle. All we're going to do really is hold it in the wind and see if it works. <laughs> which, you know, is win enough at this stage. To make that turn, there's a couple of bearings, one in either end, and they're 22 mil by 8 mil by 7 mil skater bearings. What you do is take an 8 mil washer, stick it on the end there, then put your handle bit on, and what the washer does is stops this rubbing against the case or against the outside of the bearing. Then another washer 
on the back and we've got this little plug there that goes on and holds the whole thing together and stops it coming apart. So that makes me a little handle, there we go, where I can hold that in the wind and we can see if we can actually get it turning in different orientations. So let's get it out in the wind. Okay, I appreciate that that's only a handle and not a generator, and we're really just getting a sense. I mean, it did turn in that orientation, but clearly it was much better that way around, and that's the way around to use it. So this design seems to work actually relatively well, and a ballpark kind of idea, but we've got to put a generator on that. But there we go. That is the design for the propeller blade of the uh, Samara Seed Wind Turbine. I hope you enjoyed the video. Watch out for more on this. Thank you very much for watching. Please do remember to like and subscribe.